To balance the net ionic equation for HClO plus CaOH2, this is hypochlorous acid and calcium hydroxide, let's first balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I want to treat this hypochlorite ion here as one thing since it's on both sides. So I have two of those. Let's put a two here. Now those are balanced. I have two hydrogens plus two times one, two. So I have four hydrogens here. If I put a two here, two times two is four. That also balances the oxygen atoms. And this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, let's write the states for each substance. That looks like this. So when we look at the states, hypochlorous acid is a weak acid, but it does dissolve in water. We're just not going to split it apart into its ions because it's a weak acid. It's a weak electrolyte. Calcium hydroxide, that's considered a strong base, so it's aqueous. Calcium hypochlorite, that's going to be aqueous. And then water is a liquid. So we have our states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we're not going to split this hypochlorous acid part because it's a weak electrolyte and water that's a liquid we'll keep that together so our complete ionic equation will look like this so this is the complete ionic equation note again we didn't split the weak acid apart we didn't split water apart and then for the calcium hypochlorite we have two of these hypochlorite ions here so we have those here in the equation as well now we can cross out the spectator ions they're on both sides the only thing that's the same on both sides here in the reactants, we have the calcium ion and again in the products. So we can cross that out. And what's left is the net ionic equation for HClO plus CaOH2. Let me clean this up. We'll write the states and have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. Note that since we have two in front of all of these substances here, we can just reduce that down to one. And we don't write the one by convention. So when we look at charge, we have a negative one on this side, a negative charge on this side, and a negative charge in the products. So that's balanced. If you count the atoms up, they are balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for hypochlorous acid plus calcium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.